Yeah, there was always a, a, a never-ending flow of athletes. You know, back when I was growing up, athletes, you know, even Phil Simms, it was before the $100 million contract. So if you were a baseball player and you had the um, All-Star break off, you didn't fly to the Bahamas on your private jet for the three days. And, and if you were to get a free weekend at Grossinger's, that was a big deal. And so I remember tons of the Mets at the time, or, or the Yankees at the time, kind of depending on who was going to be home after the All-Star break coming up. And, and uh, I remember one time, Nolan Ryan was with the Mets at the time, and I guess they had to have throw days during the All-Star break. And I went over and he was throwing uh, on the ground, and there was a coach, I guess one of the coaches, or maybe one of the catchers, I don't know, maybe it was Jerry Grody, I don't know, was catching. And I remember to this day the sound of that ball hitting the mitt when Nolan Ryan was throwing up close and I was standing right there and there was Nolan Ryan throwing and boy, was that Amazing. fast. But, you know, the athletes love to come to Grossinger's and we love to meet them. Uh, you know, I remember have the same memories of playing golf with um, Jan Stenerod and Ed Podolak who were on the Kansas City Chiefs when they were you know, one of the best teams in the NFL at that point and, and having those kind of relationships. And I always imagined that, you know, being exposed to that piqued my interest in sports. This is why I'm still a big sports fan at this day and really, you know, wanted to go to the, um, and maybe wanted to go to sports casting originally. That would, it was very interesting, you know.